amigos are we, brother to brother and everyone, a brave amigo. Wherever they need us, our destinies lead us, amigos, we're always together. <laughs> Rodrigo, we will find the men we need in there. Senores, we are from the village of Santa Poco. We have come here for your help. <laughs> A very great injustice is being done. A man named El Guapo is threatening our very lives. We are looking for men who are brave enough to stand up to this tyrant. Senorita, perhaps I can be of assistance. I'll help you. 
First, you're going to help me, darling. Better than El Guapo? They will not help us. No one will help us. Rodrigo, you must have faith. The Holy Mother will help us. Such as these, El Wapo would not dare to enter our village. California. The three amigos, Goldsmith Pictures, Hollywood, California. Me, Gos. We have seen your deeds and think you are very great. We can pay you 100,000 pesos. 100,000 pesos? We do not have 100,000 pesos. Don't worry, Rodrigo. They will refuse it. But it would be an insult not to offer it to them. One hundred thousand pesos. One hundred thousand pesos if you come to Santa Poco and put on a show of your strength and stop the... the... the horrible... Evil, murdering, villainous monster El Guapo. So that once again we can be a... a peaceful village.
23 pesos. We only have 10. Okay. I give you the 10 peso version. Uh, you are great. Uh, 100,000 pesos. If you come to Santo Poco, put on show. Stop the... I'll put infamous, El Guapo. Infamous? See, si. it means uh, murderous, evil, all like you said. And it will save you money. <laughs> Thank you. Como no. office failure. Nobody went to see it because nobody cares about three wealthy Spanish landowners on a weekend in Manhattan. We strayed from the formula and we paid the price. I thought we were quite good in it. Good? We were cray. Why don't you tell the boys about the Cochise picture, Marty? Sandy and Irving are working on it right now. You meet Cochise. At first, you think he's a terrible guy. You fight. Then, you get to know him, you come to respect each other, and at the end of the picture, you're friends. We send you boys to Baja, and we shoot the picture in eight days. What do you think? That'll be the day. What did he say? He said, that'll be the day, Mr. Flugelman. What? I don't think you understand who you're talking to here. We have a few items we want to straighten out first, or you might be looking at three actors who really don't feel like making a Geronimo picture. What the hell are you talking about? Well, Lucky, I think maybe we should. <clears throat> what we're talking about is money. Real money. Amigo money. No dough, no show. Boys! Boys, let me just say one thing. It'll be a cold day in hell when Harry Flugelman lets an actor tell him what to do. Do you know what the word nada means? In all those Mexican movies you made, did you ever hear that word? Isn't that a light chicken gravy that you just... It means nothing, zero, zip. It's what you're gonna have when I'm through with you. You hit Harry Flugelman on a bad day. I'd like to continue to work for free, Mr. Flugelman. <laughs> Are you living in the studio mansion? Yeah. Well, not anymore, you're not. Sam! The Amigos are out of the mansion. Where did you get those clothes? From a movie? Yeah, the studio gave them to us, those darn Amigos. Well, we're taking them back. Sam! Get wardrobe over here right away. Take the Amigos' clothes. Wait a minute. You can't take our clothes. You gave us these clothes. They were presents. Come on, wait a minute. But Lucky, oh, wait a second. I think you misread who you're talking to here. Misread? I want these schmucks off of my lap. Okay. And Mr. Flugelman says you're not to come back on this lot ever. Look, boys, I know show business. Something always turns up. Telegram for the three amigos. Three amigos, Hollywood, California. 
You are very great. 100,000 pesos to come to Santa Poco, put on show stop. The infamous El Guapo. What does that mean, infamous? Oh, <laughs> Dusty. <laughs> infamous is, is when you're more than famous. This man, El Guapo, is not just famous, he's infamous. 100,000 pesos to do a personal appearance with this guy, El Guapo, who is probably the biggest actor to ever come out of Mexico. Wow, the infamous? Infamous? Wouldn't it be easier if we just went to Flugelman and asked him for our amigo costumes? No, no, no. Flugelman hates us right now. He's never gonna give us our costumes. Lucky's right. This is the only way. Looking for a man by the name of El Guapo. Do you know this man? Perhaps, senor. Hey, where'd you get that pretty little guy? El Guapo will be anxious to see me. I have something he wants. Hey, I'm talking to you. Where'd you get that pretty little guy? I'm meeting some friends of mine here. When they get here, tell them to wait. How will I know them? You will know them. You will most certainly know them. Hey, why don't you come over here and sit on my lap? I want to show you something, honey. Anyone else with a comment?
Some friends of mine will be coming here. I hope you will show them more courtesy than you have shown me. They aren't as kind-hearted as I am. Looks like somebody's been down here with the ugly stick. Let's go. Uh, excuse us. We're not Mexicans. We're from out of town. We were wondering if you could tell us where the best hotel in town is. There's no hotel in this town. Great. No hotel. I could kill somebody. Excuse me. You are the... <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> we have heard of you. No kidding. <laughs> I have a message for you. A German says to wait here. Well, so long as we've got some time to kill, I think I'll have a beer. We don't have no beer, just tequila. What, what's tequila? Yeah, it's like beer. Is it fattening? Fattening? Forget it. If it's like beer, we'll have some. Three tequilas. Sure, sure, amigos. Enjoy yourselves. But try not to get into too much troubles, OK? <laughs> ah. Thank you. Ah. It's an odd taste, isn't it? It's probably watered down. Hey. You know, there's something about this place. Everybody seems so grim. Well, they're just intimidated. They've only seen us on the big screen. Hey, we're just folks like you. Just relax. <laughs> Dusty, go on over to that piano. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. I haven't played in Come so long. I, I couldn't. <laughs> Been a long time. All right. We're going to do a little number for you, but remember, we're a bit rusty, so bear with us. Just like the old days. All right. Maestro? My little buttercup has the sweetest smile. Dear little buttercup, won't you stay a while? Come with me where moonbeams paint the sky. And you and I might linger in the sweet by and by. Oh, dear little buttercup, with your eyes so blue. Oh, little buttercup, you're a dream come true. You and I will settle down in a cottage built for two. Dear little buttercup, I love you. Everybody! <laughs> My little buttercup has the sweetest is my own. <laughs> Dear little buttercup, won't you stay out? Wild, wild. <laughs> you and I will settle down in a cottage built for two. Dear little buttercup, sweet little buttercup, my little buttercup.
I tell you. Yeah, they loved us. What is that? It's a plane. It's not just any plane. It's a Tubman 601. I flew one and little Nettie goes to war. What's it doing here? I think it's a mail plane. How can you tell? Well, didn't you notice its little balls? <laughs> Look at the two little sissies! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this town's getting too rough for me. I saw them coming out of the cantina. You are the three amigos? Yes, we are. Gracias, adios. Gracias, adios. Told you we were big down here. <laughs> Come, we will take you to Santa Poco. Oh, great. Bye. us from the Wapu? Senores. Ah. Welcome to San Copoco. Here you go. What, you... <laughs> Just deep bottoms. Can I have your watch when you are dead? What did he say? That's good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. We are honored to have you in our home. Do you have anything besides Mexican food? How's this show supposed to work, anyway? Well, I talked to Rodrigo tonight. He's the kid. He was kind of hazy on the details. But as far as I can figure, a guapo's coming in a day or two. He rides in, acts like he owns a place. We come out, put on a big show, and pretend like we run him off. It's pretty much what we did in Shooting for Love. What are you going to do with your share of the money? A car. A big, shiny, silver car. <laughs> I'll drive all over Hollywood. Show Flugelman a thing or two. 
What about you? New York, maybe Paris. Mm. A lot of champagne, parties. Be a big shot for a while. How about you, Ned? I'm gonna start a foundation to help homeless children. That, that occurred to me to do that at one point, too. Oh, well, I, I meant that I would, start, I would do that first, and then I would get a big shiny uh, car. Or after and I didn't come back. <laughs> hey, let's go get some more tequila. El Wapo, he, he said to wait here. By the time he's here, we'll be back. <laughs> see? Let's go to Santo Poco. They'll be glad to see us. Hey, vámonos, no me Espera una pachanga loca, muchachos. like this, Carmen? I like the one who's not so smart. Which one is that? Juanita. Si? <laughs> Madre de Dios! Bandidos! Bandidos! Sooner than expected. I must warn the three amigos. Bandidos! <laughs> Ready? Well, we'll start to get ready then. Jeez, they want us to do the show now. Great, I thought we were going to have a rehearsal. Obviously not. So what? They've probably done it a million times and we know what we're doing. Mumbles! 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 Looks like there's about three of them. Perfect. Rodrigo said to be 50, now there's three. You better not try to cut our money. Where's our tequila? We're waiting! <laughs> See, those guys look pretty good. Are you kidding? They're doing every cliche in the book. We'll give them about 30 more seconds. I hope those horses they got for us are okay. I have to come into that cantina! Somebody's gonna die! Okay, amigos, this is it. Ned, big smile, Dusty, big just smile. relax and have fun with it. We're just gonna have fun with it. I'm Lucky Day. I'm Ned Niederlander. I'm Dusty Bottoms, so and together we're the Free Amigos. Sucking pigs, you sons of a motherless goat. Son of a motherless goat? And who are you? Wherever there is injustice, you will find us. Wherever there is suffering, we'll be there. Line. Wherever liberty is threatened, you'll. Wherever liberty is threatened, you will find. The Three Amigos! Arriba! 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 Woo! <laughs> 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 
I show. Not bad for matinee. Damn it, I forgot a line, though. Never oh, pick it up. No, never no, notice no, it. Never. Viva los amigos! Que vivan los amigos! Que vivan los amigos! Viva los amigos! Viva los amigos! Star for entertainment around here. I'm telling you, I've been in this situation before. We ask for the money now while they're excited. Viva los amigos! You were magnificent. Oh, we were okay. <laughs> then what happened? Then they got on their horses. They rode all over the town, shooting their pistolas up in the air. And they called us scum-sucking pigs. Us! What should we do, El Guapo? Tomorrow, I will take 50 men with me, find these three gringos, open their stomachs, grab their intestines, and squeeze their shit out of them! <laughs> <laughs> Girlfriend back home, Dusty? No. Never really had time for that sort of thing. Being so busy. Have you ever kissed a girl? Oh, yeah. Sure, lots of times. Would you like to kiss me? Yeah. Take a walk and you could kiss me on the veranda. Lips would be fine. One time, Dorothy Gish was visiting me on the set of Little Nettie Grab Your Gun. And she came up to me and she looked me in the face. And I'd never met her, I'd just known her from the films, you know, Dorothy Gish, Lillian's sister. And she looked me in the eyes and she said, Young man, you have got it. And... Ah! <laughs> Dorothy Gish. It's a true story.
next time we come here, I'm gonna ask for a different room. Amigos, El Wapo himself is here, with all his men, just outside the village. I have your horses waiting. You must ride against him now. What is she talking about? I don't know. <clears throat> It's like we got another show to do. Great. Let's get it over with. Yeah. Let's go. They are so brave. you're working with you. Well, you dirt-eating piece of slime, you scum-sucking pig, you son of a motherless goat. Who are you? Wherever there is injustice, you will find us. Wherever there is suffering, we'll be there. Tell us we will die like dogs. What? Tell us we will die like dogs. You will die like dogs. No, we will not die like dogs. We will fight like lions, because we are the Free Amigos. <coughs> Arriba! <laughs> I like these guys. They are funny guys. Just kill one of them. Hold it! Hold it! Lucky? Jeez, you alright? What happened? I don't know. Jeez. Oh. Oh. Jeez. Ow, ow, ow! What, what? Oh, ow, oh! Wait a second. Let me see that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, great! Real bullets! Oh, what? I'll keep this. You're in a lot of trouble, mister! Mr. 
Guapo, I'd just like to say that on behalf of the three amigos, we're very, very sorry. We'd like to go home now. You see, sir, we're not gunfighters. We're movie stars. Movie stars? Yeah, um, actors, uh, entertainers. You know, we sing and dance. Yeah, uh, you know. My little buttercup has the sweetest smile. Do you want to die like dogs? Well, if there's any way of avoiding that part of it. El guapo only kills men. He does not kill crying women. So go! You big movie stars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pass down! <laughs> People of Santo Poco, you were very foolish to bring men to try to stop El Guapo. You have heard me. Buenos dias, señorita. Jefe, the rose can bloom in the desert. <laughs> Jefe, Santo Poco is no longer under my protection. Just get our things and go. There is nothing of yours here. El Wapo has taken everything. Sorry. Did you see a pair of cufflinks? They were mother of pearl. Dusty. Kind of... Where's Carmen? El Wapo has taken her too. Go back to Hollywood. The sooner the better. It's 
too hot down here. Bad for my hay fever. We don't belong down here anyway. Where's Ned? Ned, what are you doing? What do we have to go back to? You have no jobs, no money, no place to live, no friends, no women, no self-respect. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Ned, we could get killed. Back there, the three amigos are already dead. Here, we could be the three amigos for real. I'm drawing a line. Men are mice. What'll it be? Great job catching the food, Ned. Oh, thanks, Lucky. How do you like your bat, Dusty? Medium rare. Ah, this should do. Thanks. How far do you think we rode before we had to go back and get directions? Just three or four miles. Ned, read those instructions again. All righty. <clears throat> All right. We go east through the desert until we come to the singing bush. The singing bush? When we find the singing bush, we say the magic chant, each fire one shot in the air, and that will summon the invisible swordsman and he will then show us the way to El Guapo's. You want your wings? No, no, fine. Ah, here we go. Oh, great, thanks. Well, good night. Look at the little fella. He's tuckered out already. What was that? It's just a coyote. Oh, <clears throat> I never slept outside before. Take it easy, take it easy. Dusty. Arizona moon keep shining. From the desert sky above You know pretty soon That big yellow moon Will light the way back To the one you love Blue shadows on the trail Cowboy, close your eyes 
and green All of the doggies are in the corral All of your work is done Just close your eyes and dream Soft wind blowing through the trees above. All the other little cowboys back in the bunkhouse now. So close your eyes and dream. Hi, Lucky. Hi, Dusty. Good night, Ned. Good night, Ned. Good night, Ned. Good night, Lucky. Good night, Dusty. She'll be riding six white horses when she comes. She'll be riding six white horses when she comes. She'll be riding six white horses. She'll be riding six white horses. She'll be riding six white horses when she comes. Excuse me. Come on, Are you the singing down. bush? Follow the sea with a yeah, oh, we'll blow the man down. Oh, pay attention and listen Let to me. Let me talk to him. Excuse us. Are you the singing the bush? Yeah, oh, blow the man down. Yeah, oh, blow the man down. Hello? Yeah, oh, Hi. Blow the man down. Hi. Give me some time to blow the man down. Excuse us! Good night, ladies. Good hey! Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. We're gonna leave you now. Merrily we roll Forget along, it. Roll My along, guess along, is this along, is a singing bush. Let's go summon the invisible swordsman. Summon the invisible swordsman. I can't believe I'm doing this. You know, let me see here. We each have to fire one shot in the air 
Say the magic chant, and the invisible swordsman will appear. Manny! Party, 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 He's dead, all right. How was I supposed to know where he was? You were supposed to fire up. We both fired up. It's like living with a six-year-old. Now we'll never find El Guapos. He was the only one who could show the way. We're lost. It's the Tubman 601 we saw in Diablo. I bet it's going to El Guapos. Mount up! It means get on your horses. Which nobody can deny. Today is El Guapo's birthday, and tonight you are to be El Guapo's woman. I would sooner die. Let me prepare you for the way El Guapo makes love. Tell me, Carmen, do you know what foreplay is? No. Good. Neither does El Guapo. Efe! Have the German arrived yet? Not yet, El Guapo. Many presents have been coming for your birthday. German has the only presents I want. Guns! Guns so that the name of El Guapo will be hanging on everyone's lips. He will be here, El Guapo. But I think you will like your other presents, too. I have put many beautiful piñatas in the storeroom, each of them filled with little surprises. Many piñatas? Oh, yes, many! Would you say I have a plethora of piñatas? A what? A plethora. Oh, yes. <laughs> you have a plethora. Jefe, what is a plethora? Why, guapo? Well, you told me I have a plethora. And I just would like to know if you know what a plethora is. I would not like to think that a person would tell someone he has a plethora and find out that that person has no idea what it means to have a plethora. Forgive me, El Wapo. I know that I, Jefe, do not have your superior intellect and education. But could it be that once again, you are angry at something else and are looking to take it out on me? Like what, Jefe? Could it be because you are turning 40 today? No. Could it be because Carmen chooses to sleep in her cell instead of with you? Mm. Why don't you just take her? When you want cattle, you take the cattle. When you want food, you take the food. When you want a woman, you just take the woman. Why don't you just take her? Jefe, you do not understand women. You cannot force open the petals of a flower. When the flower is ready, it opens itself up to you. When do you think Carmen will open up her flower to you? Tonight, or I will kill her. El Guapo! Ahí viene el avión! There's the German now. Right on time. We must make him welcome. This way, boys. Stop.
Bay. Figure out a way to get inside. It looks impossible. Lucky those walls are 25 feet high. There's a guard at every post. There's no way we'll ever get in there. I think Dusty's right. Well, we're just gonna have to use our brains. Damn, Damn it. it. Wabo! Here come the gun! <laughs> What's his name? That's Paco. Paco! Take off your hat! Hold it up! Higher! <laughs> you lived up to your promise. You will be my guest at the celebration today. A little party my men are throwing for me. Oh, 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 Are so good. What was that noise? I do not know. <laughs> Shh. I have three demands. One, that you stop harassing the people of Santa Poco. 
to that all the land of Mexico be redistributed equally among the people and a proportional system of government be established, consisting of three separate but equal branches, the legislative, the executive, and the judicial, and three... That the girl Kerber be returned to me unharmed. Amigo, why you come here? You don't belong. Now we have to kill you. <laughs> Take him away. Excuse me. Did you say kill me? fortress. And that you've done, now what? Well, we really didn't expect the first part of the plan to work, so we have no further plan. Sometimes you can overplan these things. <laughs> so give me a second to talk to Lucky, and I'll get back to you. Wait! There's a guard outside the door. You must dress in his clothes, then you will be able to move freely in the courtyard. Ow! Ow! Easy! Come and get him, where he throw!
dos. Tú el guapo. you say about such men? <laughs> it's a sweater! It's a sweater! <laughs> Jefe! I know my own smell. <laughs> Carlos! <laughs> we fought together the priests of this mission. <laughs> Pedro! <laughs> we crushed the federales in the plains of Oaxaca. Maricón. What is happening around here today? Are gringos falling from the sky? <laughs> yes, el guapo. Now we have all the amigos. Take him away. One moment, please. I know who this man is. You do? Yes. It is Ned Niederlander. Who? You... You... You are my favorite star of the silver screen. Really? <laughs> in, in Germany, the cinema is very popular. I have seen all of your films, including when you were known as Little Neddy Knickers. Oh. <laughs> well, that, that was a long time ago. <laughs> it was this man who inspired me to learn the art of the quick draw. I looked up to this man. I studied his every move. It was my dream to be as fast as Ned Niederlander. I practiced every day for hours and hours. He was a god to me. A god? Well, well I don't know about that, but I, it is nice to meet a fan. You know, often I think that... But then I found out about movie tricks. Trick photography. I was crushed. I never used trick photography. That is impossible. No one can be as fast as you appear to be. I am that fast. We shall see. Happy to. Does anybody have a watch? Preferably one with a second hand? I got a stopwatch. No stopwatch. As you Americans say, we will play for keeps. Give me back his gun. Leave him here. He might like to see his friend die. 
I've seen it. Understand, I don't shoot at people. You see, it's against my upbringing. Call it etiquette, whatever. You know, I'm thinking of. I've waited for years for this moment. Easy gone like this. Enough! Take the gun, let's go! full of lead, you'll be using your dick for a pencil. What do you mean? I don't know. I think he means that if you... Shut use... up! So, you thought you could outsmart the amigos. Well, not this time. Dusty, cover El Guapo. Now, everybody, throw down your guns. Do as he says. Not you, Dusty. Sorry. Okay, now, everybody lay down and put your hands behind your head. Ned, open the gates. Try to touch those guns. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kill them! Hit me no more! 
To war? Well, not exactly. Actually, my stuff ended, but I'm pretty sure I can remember. have an El Guapo to face someday. For some, shyness might be their El Guapo. For others, a lack of education might be their El Guapo. For us, El Guapo is a big dangerous guy who wants to kill us. But as sure as my name is Lucky Day, the people of Santa Poco can conquer their own personal El Guapo, who also happens to be the actual El Guapo. We want to defend ourselves, but how? by using the skills and the talents of the people of Santa Poco. This is not a town of weaklings. You can turn your skills against El Guapo. Now, what is it that this town really does well? We can sow. There you go, you can sew. Ah. If only we had known this earlier. Ned, Dusty. Sewing. Remember our film, Amigos, Amigos, Amigos? Yes. Remember what we did in that movie? Gee, do you think it could work? It's got to work. It's our only hope. <laughs>
so like the wind. Okay, take gear. Something to tell you. That was a good trick, too. I'm gonna miss you, Senor Dusty. I'm going to miss you, too, Pablo. Here. I want you to have my watch. I want to go with you. 
No, 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 Pablo. There's still much to be done here. Your village needs you. And your family needs you. We are men without homes. We were meant to wander. You will always have a home here with us in Santa Poco. Goodbye, Dusty. You have done what you said you would do. Long will the memory of the three amigos live in the hearts of the people of Santa Poco. Let's ride. We are proud to give you all that we have. Here, I'll take that. Our reward is that justice has been done. And remember, wherever there is injustice, you will find us. Wherever there is suffering, we'll be there. Wherever liberty is threatened, you will find... The Three Amigos! Yeah! Yeah! Amigo. 